Vocal aids are a large part of training and of riding in general. We use them to supplement other aids like the artificial and natural aids like a crop or leg respectively. And it's uh, very apparent to see just how vocal aids work when in a lunging environment. Animals hear a system of tones reinforced by syllables. Humans hear a system of syllables reinforced by tones. That's why we can understand each other when we speak in a monotone. We still understand the meaning. If you train the animal, there. a horse or a dog, on a monotone, they still they don't understand. So for example, you know, we have the standard walk, trot, canter aids, and many people use those words, walk, trot, and canter, to ask the horse to do those things. But it's not the words that they learn, it's the way you say it. So for example, this horse, Flapjack, has been trained a specific way to trot. It's a sharp, one-syllable question. For example, trot, trot, trot. He understands that. He gets it. That one sharp syllable at a constant pitch means to trot. Good boy. And to walk is a shorter, kind of softer decrescendo sorts like this. Walk. Good boy. He understands the soft, subtle decline of the pitch to be walk. But I'm going to demonstrate how they don't listen to words by asking him to trot by saying the word walk but in a different way. So, walk, walk, walk. And he understands it because it's the the way you say it, not what you say, that matters to the horses as far as vocal aids are concerned. And I'm going to ask him to walk by asking him to trot. Trot. And he, he understands that right away. The horses understand tones reinforced by syllables, not syllables reinforced by tones. And that's the best way to effectively use your voice to assist in training.